How do you become a topper student? Is there something different in their brains that they can study better or do so well in exams? Or can any student learn how to study like that? That is what we are talking about in today's video. Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Siddharth Warrior. I'm a neurologist and welcome to my YouTube channel where we talk about neuroscience and everything. In today's video, we are talking about what makes a topper student so good and what are the things that you can do as a student to study that way. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do so. It means a lot to me and you'll see more such videos on your timeline. Now, the first thing that a topper student does and which you should as well is give yourself time. Understand that what makes a student successful is the ability to take information keep information and use that information when you need to. But a topper understands that the brain requires time to absorb facts and how much time you take to absorb information is dependent on you. So it's different for everyone. For example, me, I can take maybe two hours to read a particular chapter, but my friend might take only 30 minutes. I need to know how much time I need to cover a chapter so that I can plan my day accordingly. Basically, I need to give myself enough time to study. This is because when you read something new in the brain, it first goes to your prefrontal cortex into your working memory. Your working memory can only hold information for a limited amount of time, maybe few seconds. Unless you give time to yourself, your brain cannot convert that information from your working memory to your long term memory in the hippocampus, which is at the back of the brain. And if this conversion does not happen later on, you will not be able to remember it because that fact has already gone. So step number one is giving yourself time and knowing how much time you need to study the portion that you have. Step number two, do not trust your memory. Now, this is something that I know that topper students also do because I, as somebody who has given a lot of exams and I've done fairly well, know that memory is a tricky thing. You might finish reading a chapter, even underline and highlight things, but one month later, you won't even remember that you've read that chapter, forget what is in that chapter. So do not trust your memory. Your brain needs repeated exposure for that information to stick to your brain. So there are different memory hacks that you can use to remember better. For a detailed explanation on this, I have made an entire video. You can check it out here. But very briefly, I'm going to tell you two things you should do to improve your memory. Number one is to make a concise version of whatever you're reading so that you can revise it easier. You can call it as making your own notes. And number two is you can leave little information reminders in your phone, in your laptop or across your room using stick it notes so that those facts keep coming into your consciousness. If I share a story from my studying days, I used to every day write one fact that I had trouble remembering on my hand. So I would wake up in the morning, write one fact on my hand so that the rest of the day, every time I see my hand, I look at that sentence. And by night, that one fact has now become established in my head. And the funny thing is that fact will then open up my memory to a lot of other things as well. So I think of them as keys where one single fact can open up the door and a whole lot of information can come back to you. So these are little tricks that you can use. And again, you can watch the whole video for more information on how to remember better. The third thing that toppers use to study better is learning information with different context. Now, the way that the brain learns things is by taking an information and seeing how many places can we use this. So if I tell you something new and you are not able to use that information anywhere, your brain will not remember it. But if I give you five different use cases of where all you can attach this information, now suddenly that becomes valuable and you remember it more. So one thing that I used to do is reading the same topic from two to three different places. For example, reading about the same topic from your your textbook, from your seniors notes and from Wikipedia. Now, each of these sources will talk about the same topic in slightly different ways and give you some additional information and put together, you will get a very different picture of that topic and that will help you remember things much better. Another way of adding context is by discussing about the topic with your friends. Now, this is a great hack because not only will you spend some fun time with your friends, but you will also learn about how did they approach 
approach the topic and very often this will happen that you have understood a topic in one way and your friend has understood it in a very different way and when you discuss this both of you will remember that topic better the fourth thing that you should do is to think about memory hooks whatever it is that you're reading think about how would you remember this if someone were to ask you later on just having this thought in your head will make you see that information differently for instance you are reading about mitochondria being the powerhouse of the cell so if a month later someone were to ask you what is the powerhouse of the cell and you have to remember the word mitochondria how would you remember it ask yourself that question and watch as the answer forms in your brain so these are memory hooks and they are very useful so that you remember the right information at the right time finally the fifth thing that you should do to become a better student is to learn to ask for help. Too many times students remain as average students because they think they can do everything themselves and toppers know that asking for help is a great hack to learn things faster and not repeat the same mistakes that their seniors made. So go to a senior ask them what would they have done differently what topics would they have read and how would they have studied and trust me you will save a lot of time these are five things that every student needs to do from today to become a better student i have made another video a few months ago which is part one of how to become a better student if you want to see that the link is there below i hope you enjoyed this video i hope this helps you in your exams if you found this helpful share this with all your friends who are also preparing for exams and i will see you guys in the next one.